I'll, I'll, I'll start. Um, I'd like to congratulate Tennessee on the victory. Um, you know, we, they were in this spot last year and they had handled themselves with class and dignity. And I have a ton of respect for Joe and the program and their coaches. Um, their players competed incredibly hard today. Uh, they played with, with honor and um, grit. And um, we, we certainly will wish them well uh, throughout the rest of their NCAA journey. Um, this, uh, this is a tough feeling. Um, it's one that no one wants, uh, but I think these players and our program can hold our heads very high for our performance tonight. Um, we, we talk a lot about what makes Xavier soccer different and special and unique, and I'm proud, very, very proud that I think we displayed a ton of that tonight. Um, we, we played a very good team and, and we had control for large stretches. And the only thing I feel bad about or have, you know, that's gonna be hard to reconcile is I think this team had more in it. Um, I think this team could have advanced multiple rounds and I think they deserve it. And I think this, uh, this group of women and this group of seniors um, are very, very special. And I just wish they had another chance and, and, and more opportunity because uh, they, they've invested so much into our program and taken us to, to different levels. And, you know, it's just sad to see it come to an end. Nate, you generated 41 shots tonight, 15 on goal, had a ton of offensive opportunity. Just couldn't really find them back in yet. Can you just kind of walk me through how that all went? Yeah, I mean, we, we like to use the phrase playing on the front foot, where we as a group of 11 people are moving forward, um, dictating the, the pace of the game, dictating the territory of the game. And when we do that well, um, we're in the final third a lot. And when we're in the final third, then we ask our players to be brave, um, to be confident, to show their skill, to show their ability, uh, and take people on. And tonight, this again, I thought they did a great job, I think. Um, all of our forwards, you know, Regan, Sonia, Shelby, kind of out wide. Kennedy was a monster up front. Um, you know, Emma Flick, we were, we were down a pretty special player in Sam tonight. And you know, so tough that she transferred here to be in this, these kind of games. And, uh, you know, Emma Flick filled that space. And so we were just moving forward most of the night. Um, we were brave all the night. And we just kept creating chances. And their keeper made some amazing saves, right? Like she, uh, she tipped a bunch over. Um, one tipped into the crossbar. Um, you know, some chances we'd like to have back. And, and, and this is where I think we should give credit to Tennessee as they defended their box incredibly well. They won a ton of headers. They won a ton of second balls. They blocked. They must have blocked 20, 15 shots on the night. Um, so yeah, I thought our offense was humming. You know, I thought, I thought we looked dynamic out there. I think when we look at the stats and the deep stats, the amount of crosses and entries in the box we'll have on top of 40 shots, um, we, ge we generated 10 shots in overtime, 10. And uh, they generated one on something that, you know, just didn't even look dangerous at the time. So this is the game we chose to play. And uh, sometimes you're gonna be on the right side of it. And sometimes like tonight, it just, uh, you're, it just doesn't fall your way. Jane, what can you say about this team Oh my gosh, this is just such a special group. And, you know, kudos to Nate and the staff. They built like an incredible culture here. And when I transferred, that was my number one priority was to find a school where culture was the number one priority and it is here and that translates on the field. But um, these girls are just so great. Um, you know, I died, for, I died for them, they're my sisters. Um, but, you know, unfortunately we were on the wrong side of it tonight and that just makes it even more painful. Um, I think it's pretty rare um, for you know the caliber of, all, of the NCAA and just the caliber of both teams to put up 40 shots. Um, but at the end of the day, you got to put the ball in the back of the net, and we weren't able to do that tonight. So um, just great people, great players, all across the board. But unfortunately, we couldn't we couldn't do it, sadly. Um, but yeah, it just makes it extra painful. <laughs> Maddie, how did you all, how did you feel from your perspective? How did you feel like tonight when, you know, just within your own game, I know the scoreline <coughs> wasn't what you hoped, but just the way that you all played and executed, yeah. what you hoped to execute to a point, how did you feel like you all played? 
I mean, I think we played great. I think, like Nate said, we were on the the strong foot, the front foot for most of that game. And like Jane said, putting up 40, 41 shots, I mean, that's unreal. That's crazy. And um, I'm just so proud of this team. And we've been through some lows and we've been through some highs. But I think one thing to be proud of is we went out there together in this game. And we did everything together. We moved forward. Um, everyone helped, defended, doubled down. And um, I'm just super proud, super proud. Nate, what does it mean for you to, to see two players up here wearing a captain's armband like this and see how much you know, they're invested in this program and what you've built here over the last few years? I think it's, I think it's why it hurts so deeply. I think this, this is why this moment is um, just painful is because uh, we have great people and we have great leaders. And you know we, we're, we have a high standard here and we, we are demanding, and this group meets that standard and finds moments to exceed it. And um, the leadership and of, of Maddie and Jane and Ella's our third captain, but just the, this entire senior class and just how everyone carries themselves, it's, I think, I think they're models to, to all young, aspiring athletes out there and, and girls. Um, and you just don't want it to end. Um, I just didn't want this one to end. And, you could just tell uh, we're out on the field, and <laughs> we were a little bit shell shell shocked, and no one knew what to do. Everyone just kind of sat there and uh, wanted to be planted on the field, and they, they kind of made us move um, to be here. So I'm just blessed and, and honored to to be a part of the ride with them. Thank you. All. Congrats on a great season. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. Thank you.